The electronics industry is ever evolving, but one constant in electronics today is that innovation, driven through software and hardware integration, continues to drive different levels of system performance. The vehicle today is being transformed through this integration of both software and hardware. In the past, you've seen functions which are tied specifically to ECU hardware, and when a new function is required to be added to a vehicle, a new ECU is added. That adds complexity and also wiring harness complexity as well. In the software-defined vehicle era, a function is not necessarily tied to a piece of hardware. It can be moved flexibly throughout a vehicle architecture and can also be updated throughout its life cycle. The software-defined vehicle creates new business opportunities and a paradigms for us in automotive. One area is around engineering efficiency. Engineering efficiency can include the reduction of system bomb by integrating multiple ECUs together. It can reduce your amount of software R&D by having one central place for software updates and transformation. Overall system performance can be increased by optimizing software performance on the underlying hardware. And at the same time, using CICD software-defined methods can speed your time to market. The other area is around value creation. And value creation can mean taking advantage of data that is within the vehicle itself, driving new data-driven revenue streams, providing additional predictive maintenance, and also providing new features to the vehicle after it's production and sold to the customer. However, there are some challenges in approaching software-defined vehicles today. One area is around the integration of hardware and software and the complexity that that brings. In some examples, there are multiple ECUs, potentially up to hundreds of ECUs that have to be integrated specifically for a vehicle model. And each of those ECUs has a hardware-software combination that has to be integrated together as well. The complexity of ECU integration of hardware and software, plus the integration of all these multiple ECU components in a vehicle architecture, exponentially increases complexity throughout the vehicle. And this is a challenge that many automakers are facing today. One other area that automakers have to consider as well is the scalability of architectures. There are multiple ways to implement a double E architecture in a vehicle today. And those can be domain-based architectures. They can also be centralized architectures, also zonal architectures and multiple zonal architectures that have their variants as well. Also, the number of vehicle classes that have to be considered by an OEM is also a considerable challenge. And making sure that there is a scalability from a low-end vehicle all the way up to a high-end vehicle covered with a similar architecture is something that is very important and has to be considered. NXP is uniquely positioned to address both scalability and integration. Scalability can mean both performance scalability and also memory scalability that is required throughout the full WE architecture from central compute to zones. It can also mean the networking requirements from an end node all the way up to the central compute, and also making sure that the system power management of the full system is also addressed. Integration means the integration of both software and hardware, tightly coupled to optimize system performance. Multiple pieces of software, including the drivers, the OS, and the middleware layers, integrated to work very closely with the silicon components to accelerate system performance are absolutely needed to optimize the overall EE architecture.